guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 7 of season 2 of Miss Kobayashi's Maid Dragon, so BTW. Um, I'm sorry that this is now officially kind of a day late because of the fact is yesterday, or really still it's a day for me, um, I was already getting ready to record all this. My mom needed my help with such, and we did not finish until about 5 going on 6. Fell asleep. Just woke up like 20 minutes ago and I'm just like shit <laughs> like I gotta get this done but yeah just for this week because still coming back from Disney and vacation and everything and being super super tired and not getting enough sleep and my energy just drained out of me to the point where I feel like I cannot do shit yeah but other than that let's go ahead and get started with episode 7 in 3, 2, one, go. <laughs> what? I mean, hold up. He he left. <laughs> he left so quick. He was like, oh, okay. Screw you. Are you going to make a manga? Oh! Oh! Oh, yeah, this is the episode where they're going to make a manga. <laughs> I really like that poster. Just the more that I see it, the more I get pretty cure vibes. <laughs> Cause dead ass, she kinda looks like Cure Grace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. <laughs> you know, just pose. Of course. Oh, God. 
dude. But that is you with shorts on. Can you imagine if a little kid was walking by and saw that? Well, interesting. I really think he means money. <laughs> oh, come on, Fafnir. It definitely would sell. So tough. baby oh hey Tora <laughs> but kind of sleeps oh my god <laughs> this is 
a bad that I kind of want to see you two go on a date today. I mean, we haven't seen them go on a date since, you know, the theme park episode. <laughs> oh. Maybe because you want to be beside Kobayashi? Yeah. And the Iridu sleeps as well. Oh, you guys. Oh, yeah, I know that feeling. Right? Well, yeah, sleeping is fine because, girl, I took a nap and I just woke up, so I know how you feel. And I wanted to go back to sleep, but I was like, ah, I need to record. <laughs> Hi. Oh, my God, will you two stop? <laughs> Maybe you just want something more exciting in your life. Kobe asked you, did you just take the whole day away? Mm-hmm. Is it too quiet for you, though? It just naturally happens. Oh, cool.
I mean, hey, you might as well. You're in the group, so. Wouldn't it be funny if this is going to be like a ghost stories episode, even though I've never seen ghost stories? <laughs> Right. <laughs> smart though <laughs> and she's like I must know who kind of likes <laughs> oh shit it's like <laughs> damn <laughs> oh kind of like you will never know <laughs> Yeah, it was. <laughs> You're a boy. You go check it out. Oh, it's just a window. Well, that would be an easy newspaper article to write about. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the 
male Tinkerbell? <laughs> yeah, no, a male Tinkerbell. Well, damn, he got spat out. <laughs> oh, oh, hmm, mm, true. Mm hmm. Enjoyable. Oh. Oh. Huh? You might as well just go ahead and write the ghost article. Huh. <laughs> eh? Oh, damn, that's mean. <laughs> That was cute. Like, oh my god. But to know in the end that it was a fairy <laughs> from the same world as Kana, Toru, and everyone else. I mean, it's interesting. But still, I, I if I was the kids, I would have been like, okay. Because see, that reminds me so much of um, Hayoka. Like, a teeny tiny bit and such. But at the same time, I would have been like, hey, hold on, wait. Before we try a different article for the newspaper that we're doing, why don't we still focus on the ghost one? We can make some ish up. And then after that, make like a small teensy weensy article on aliens and such. And then that's it. A++ for everyone and we move on. <laughs> Which is good. Um, hearing the situation on Toru and Alma and the sleepiness and being tired and still, you know, you're a dragon and you're still adapting to human lifestyle was very interesting. And, you know, the fact is that they think it's because they're bored and in a way. Yeah, it's kind of true. I mean, you know, you're, you've been living this life over and over again. Um, this is the beginning of season one when everybody came in and, you know, editor was the newest one of our, of our group. So of course it is going to be boring for them. It's not probably as exciting as it was when they first started this series and such. And so now it's like, what do you need to do to get rid of that boredom? You find something else new to enjoy while still being a human at the same time. And then I, I have no words on the locust situation. <laughs> Oh, you got sick? Huh? Huh? <laughs> okay, so it seems like from next week preview, Kobayashi's getting sick. Um, the guy that Iridu is working, well, not really essentially, because, yeah, he kind of works there um, at his family's job and everything. They're gonna have a conflict, maybe? Because she's the editor, like, she's in the rain, and she's getting wet, and she just looks sad, and it looks depressing, and I feel like next week I'm probably gonna cry. And I think, when was the last time I cried during that show? For... Mm. I think season one. Probably the season one finale? Or... No, I didn't cry at Kana's sports day. I cheered. I had a fan, <laughs> we had a family fangirl moment, 
in that mashup, but I don't think there was ever really a truly a moment where, like, yeah, it had to be the finale, because the finale, like, really, really hurt, and I was like, oh my god, like, these characters are not gonna see each other again, but long story short, they are. They're still together, and it's like that. But yeah, this week's episode was truly adorable, like always, and such. The Locust situation, <laughs> hilarious, makes you wonder, like... <laughs> If on the side when we didn't see Shota looking at it, if he truly did, because knowing Shota, like, of course, he is very curious, so he's going to look at everything. But I'm still laughing about the fact is, <laughs> Bopineers didn't sell, and I thought it was a really good premise. I mean, as someone who's currently watching Pokemon at the same time, um, anything, any idea that happens in Bakuman and when you're comparing it to this and any time with Afamira is like, I want to make a manga. And you're like, okay, well, let's see if it'll sell and such. And, <laughs> you know, because it was hilarious. Come here, baby. Um, when it just didn't, you feel so bad for him, though. Are you okay? You just wanted my attention? You poor thing. Here, go lay down. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, guys, that is my reaction to be towards episode 7 of season 2 of Miss Kobayashi's Made Dragon. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 8. Bye, guys!